Hey, what's going on guys? Brian from Zombie Guitar here. Here in this lesson I want to play nine different scales all in parallel with one another so you can really hear the difference and, um, and basically see that to switch a scale to another parallel scale, it's really just a, more often than not, it's just a matter of just a one note change, okay? What I mean by parallel is each scale is going to contain the same root, okay? So I'm going to be doing nine different types of scales that all have the root D. All right, I'm going to be doing the D minor pentatonic, the D natural minor, otherwise known as D aeolian, D harmonic minor, uh, D dorian, D phrygian, and then I'm going to be also doing um, D major pentatonic, followed by D major, otherwise known as D ionian, um, D lydian, and D mixolydian. Okay, so those are nine different scales, all with the same root, therefore they're parallel scales. Um, and I'm going to be just playing it over just one chord. Okay, my rhythm section is going to be a D sus chord. A sus chord is neither major nor minor. But you can apply these concepts to chord progressions, okay? Because as you're going to see as I go through this demo, you're going to see that in order to switch to a parallel scale or a parallel mode, more often than not, it's just a matter of just one note switch. All right, and I'm going to demonstrate this by sticking to just the high four strings, okay, the D, G, B, and high E string. And I'm just going to stick to pentatonic position number one and also up into pentatonic position number two, but just still on the high four strings, okay? So you're going to really see that if you stick to this limited area, you're going to really see how it's just a matter of one note switch to give you a completely new scale, completely new sound. So let me start out with this demo first, and then I'll explain the theory behind it afterwards.
Okay, so practical uses for all this stuff. So, as you probably already noticed that uh, if you're in a minor tonality or a major tonality, the difference between these parallel um, modes is just one note difference, okay? More often than not. So, you know, your, your shell is always going to be your minor pentatonic, okay? And then you go ahead and you add notes to the minor pentatonic. And then, you know, usually people, if you're in a minor key, the first thing that you're going to do is go to the natural minor scale, otherwise known as the Aeolian mode. All right, but say you're doing natural minor stuff and you're soloing in your uh, D minor scale and you're just kind of sticking around in this one little area and you just want to kind of splice up your playing, maybe throw in a note that technically isn't supposed to work in whatever situation, but you just want to do it anyway just to add some kind of unique flavor to your playing, you can switch it up and you can just kind of know what you're doing, okay? So it's only one note difference between the Aeolian mode and the Dorian mode. It's only one note difference between the Aeolian mode and the harmonic minor scale. One note difference between Aeolian and Phrygian, all right? And then, of course, they all share the same pentatonic shell. So for the minor stuff, I was just kind of sticking in pentatonic position number one, along with the upper extension, and then just kind of sticking to the high four strings, okay? So you find your um, pentatonic position number one for a minor key by taking your first finger, Locating your root note on the low E string, finding your note D. D is the 10th fret of the low E string. That's how you locate your pentatonic position number one for a minor key, okay? All right, and then your upper extension is just kind of going into the upper frets, um, or into pentatonic position number two. Okay, and then just kind of sticking to the high four strings because that's where a lot of our soloing takes place. So you're in pentatonic position number one and pentatonic position number two, but just the higher strings. Okay, and you can always throw in the blue note at any time, no matter what uh, scale or mode you're doing. That blue note's always going to fall right here. So that blue note fits in with any mode, all right? I didn't do it in the demo, but you can always throw that in there. All right, so then you just go ahead and add in your remaining notes to make it the uh, D minor Aeolian mode or the D minor, the D natural minor scale, and you're left with. So that's your D minor, just adding in some notes to the pentatonic. So then if you want to alter that, you can alter that and either uh, turn it into the uh, harmonic minor, the Dorian, or the Phrygian mode. And it's just a one note difference in all three cases. So what you see here is the natural minor. If you want to make it the harmonic minor, you just simply raise the note that falls right before the root note by one half step. Okay, so instead of going... <laughs> You would go. So anytime you have a root note, you can always just kind of locate that harmonic minor note one half step below the root note. So here's your root. Okay, you can also locate your root here. Okay, and it's only one half step. really change up the sound just by making it the harmonic minor scale just by changing that one note. Okay, then we go back to the Aeolian mode, natural minor scale. Okay, so if you want to make it the Dorian mode, again, it's just one note change, all right? It's actually the sixth. You get comfortable playing in this pentatonic position number one, the pattern, you kind of know what notes are in the scale and what notes aren't. Well, in this case, you know which notes are in the scale and you're just kind of changing this note here to this. And just that one note switch makes the D Dorian mode. So it's... Okay, so again, one note difference changes it from the natural minor to the Dorian mode. All right, so let's go back to the natural minor again as our starting point. 
Okay, so to make it the Phrygian mode, you just simply find your root note, and then the Phrygian note falls one half step higher. Okay, so you have your root note here. One half step higher is that Phrygian note. Okay, you also have your root here. Okay, so that's taking place of what would have otherwise been a whole step higher. If it's the Aeolian mode, the next note comes a whole step after the root note. The Phrygian mode is just a half step, okay, so. Okay, so again, it's just one note difference. And you can always throw in that blue note whenever you want. Okay, so that's the minor stuff. So if you want to do the major stuff, um, the only difference is now you're locating your pentatonic position on one, and you're going to be locating it with your pinky instead of your first finger. So you find your note D on the low E string with your pinky. Your note D is right here, tenth fret. Locate it with your pinky instead of your first finger because you're going this way now. So now you're in between the fret ranges of seven to ten for your pentatonic position number one. Okay, so that would be your pentatonic position number one. Notice that the location of your root note is in a different spot when you're playing within a major tonality. Okay, so your root notes are here, here, and here. All right, and then you can also throw in that upper extension. All right, and again, we're just gonna kind of stick to the high four strings here. You can always throw in that blue note, same, it's gonna be in the same location. Again, you can combine that blue note and throw that into any one of these modes, okay? So, you have your D major pentatonic shell now. You can go ahead and you can add in your extra notes to make the D major scale, the full D major diatonic scale, otherwise known as the D Ionian mode. Located, okay, so if you're used to playing just minor stuff, you got to kind of switch your thinking into major now, okay? So your, your tonic note is now located here and here, all right? So that's your D major scale, okay? To make that the Lydian mode, it's just a one note change, all right? And the one note change is as you see here. change you find your root note here or you find your um the uh, note that falls one below the root is now going to fall full step below the root so probably notice that um, a lot of the same patterns are shared as well. Major pentatonic and minor pentatonic share the same patterns. The only difference is, you know, locating that pentatonic position number one, using your pointer finger for minors, using your pinky for majors. Um, but as long as you're, you find your pentatonic position number one, the pattern is the same. And you probably also notice that Aeolian shares the same pattern as Ionian, okay? 
Um, you probably also notice that uh, Lydian and Dorian share the same patterns. You probably also notice that Phrygian and Mixolydian share the same patterns, okay? The thing you just want to understand, again, is locate your pentatonic position number one for minor scales using your first finger and then adding in the appropriate notes. And then for major scales, you locate your pentatonic position number one using your pinky finger. Okay, it's, it's just a shift of three frets, but everything looks the same after you find your starting point. And then just going and adding in your um, extra notes and then altering it just by one note at a time to switch your scales, okay? So, hopefully that wasn't too confusing with all that stuff. Um, I don't know, I kind of had this idea this morning when I woke up. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to put this video together or how exactly I was going to try and, um, you know, demonstrate this idea, but this is what I came up with. So, nine different parallel scales all rooted with D. D is the root. I just played it over one single chord, which is a D sus2 chord, but you can kind of do this stuff whenever. If you're soloing in any type of D minor and you just want to switch it up to D Dorian or D Phrygian or D harmonic minor, it's just one note at a time switch. Same thing with major. If you're soloing and you're in the key of D major and you get bored of the D major sound, try switching it up by one note to make it D Lydian or try switching it up by one note to make it D Mixolydian, okay? It's just a matter of finding your pentatonic position number one and then just going from there, all right? So I'm going to this lesson here. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.